Okay, on the start line now is Nathan Riles from South Australia. Yeah, Beck, this is his third grand final appearance. And like so many returning ninjas, he's got some unfinished business with Mount Midori Armour. Okay, here we go, the snake run. His first, Nathan dancing his way over the steps. Nicely done. Obstacle two, up the launch pad to trapeze. Oh, I love that obstacle. Nathan Riles now on obstacle three, the broken bridge. Five foot planks to get across and... Oh! oh no! He's in trouble. Can you do He's it? in big trouble. He hasn't hit the water, but has he grabbed the wire? You can touch the red plank, but not the wire. Well, he's going to get off, but I think to no avail. The umpires are checking it. It seems like he did grab the wire, which is a disqualification. And here's the replay. As soon as Nathan falls, yes, you can see there, he grips the wire with his elbow. If it was just the red plank, he would have been OK. But he clearly touched the wire. There you go. Oh, Ben, and the red lights come on. That means that is a DQ, a disqualification from the grand final for Nathan Riles. This man is a favourite to a lot of the ninjas out there in Ninja Land. All the young kids look up to this man. Get ready, kids. You're going to see a very fast ninja in action right now. You are 100% right, Crawford's girlfriend, Sarah, and mother, Gabby, on the sideline. We maybe had to keep up with him. Speed and power are two of Ashland's greatest assets, but also liabilities. He's competed in all five seasons, only made it to three grand finals. What will we get tonight? <laughs> Obstacle one, the snake run. It's taken out three ninjas and troubled others, but Flashland just skips through. Now up the launch pad to the trapeze, flying. Obstacle three now, the broken bridge, and there is no stopping Ashlyn Herbert. He's like a rocket. Well, he's just done three <laughs> obstacles in 15 seconds. Crawf is much slower, I can tell oh, you. Goodness. Literally, I had to sprint to get here. Oh, poor Crawfee. This is obstacle four now, the triple corkscrew. And watch the technique. The best ninjas don't waste time winding up. And just like that, Ashlyn holds on. They drive so high with their hips and legs. Take one back swing and go. Yeah, great use of his legs. Being spread out slows the spin. Good technique. He's got muscle. He's got flair. Up. He's got speed, so much speed. And the thing that really stands out about Flash on Ashland Herbert is not just his speed, Ben, it's his strength. And you will You've see it in climax. action on the Ferris wheel. This is his fifth obstacle. He's 20 seconds faster than his good mate, Zach. Look at the technique of this guy, so smooth, barely pausing. Just a little kick, a little nudge there to get the and, wheel and you, moving. you don't see that strain. No. If you have a look as he makes his way up this Ferris wheel, you don't see that strain in his arms that you see from other ninjas or because they're really burning on the way up and the way down. This has been a very smooth and therefore a very fast run. Is it a different Ashland Herbert we're seeing tonight? He's in total control. Here he goes. He's not going to wait. He's going to fly. He shakes the hands and up he goes. Flashland Ashland Herbert is over. Continue on. His time is amazing. 3.58 on the clock. Absolutely incredible. He could be posting the fastest time of the night. That's if he can complete That's the one. unforgiving salmon ladder. That's two. Needs the third. There it is. And he's gone for number four just to be safe as he makes his way now over to the stair hopper using the fixed bars. His arms, no doubt, will be feeling it now. Once he's on the stair hopper, he has to carry that bar with him, make his way down. And based on his facial expression, he's not struggling at all. He's in control. Incredible. The upper body strength is phenomenal on this one. We're watching something special here. He's got to get through the barrel roll, and then the underwater escape is waiting. He's never done it before. This is incredible. Right now, he is by far the fastest ninja, but he's not taking a break. We've known for years, Beck, that Ashland has what it takes to become an Australian ninja warrior. Is this the year he makes it to the top? Here he goes, in the water now. Oh, he even gives a wave. He 
gets ready for the first tour. 2.25 on the clock. Look at that. Strength pushes up for a breath. Now he goes through. He is a man on a mission right now. Now, the first door you push to the side, this one you've got to lift up. There he goes, takes a big deep breath. We've got 2.08 on the clock. He has a breath at the top, slides himself through. One more to go. Flashland Ashland Herbert is putting on a show. This guy is unbelievable what he's doing. Our ninjas have struggled on this course. We've lost ninjas at the first obstacle. But look at the clock oh, there. He can afford he can to skip up to the buzzer, but he won't. Just not fair. How can you do that? This is a big moment for him. And let's take a live shot of Mount Midori Armour because this is the obstacle he scaled last year faster than anyone else. And Ben Colson is dreaming about going all the way. And before he even gets there, he's got to get through this. You got this, babe. Get ready, Australia. Ben Colson is about to attack the course. The champ is here. Olivia inspired us earlier. Can Ben do the same? Here he goes on the snake run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's claimed three ninjas already tonight, not Ben Polson. And he may deny it, but there is so much pressure on the shoulders of Ben Polson. Being the defending champion, you can't slip up. You want to be up there again. You've got a lot to prove, and sometimes it's even harder to get there a second time. On to obstacle number four, the triple corkscrew. Oh, look at that. Didn't even use the pole. Just jumped up and grabbed it. He gets those legs moving. Look at how tall this bloke is. Catches the corkscrew. How tall is he? He's 195 centimetres. And we always marvel at the strength of this guy because he is just a weapon. 195 centimetres tall, 85 kilograms. He's got the perfect body for Australian Ninja Warrior. So strong in the shoulders. So strong in the upper body. Look at him carve up this course. This is Ben Polson at his very best. And look at him now just turning to the crowd and firing them up as if to say, come on, make a bit more noise for me. Yeah, but he can't afford to do that too much. He's 15 seconds slower than Charlie at obstacle five, the Ferris wheel, which is ominous for Ben because Charlie finished with 23 seconds left on the clock. If you can't do the math, Ben Ford, and let's just say at this stage it's tight. It is tight. Ben Polson makes his way across the first wheel. He holds on for the jolt. It locks into place. And he'll use that big wingspan he's got to get across. Yes, makes that transfer look so easy. And now he works his way over the top. The key is to keep moving. Rest once you're off the obstacle, if you have time. But make sure you get off. And Ben Polson is making sure. Oh, so one calm. hand on the road. So good. 3.39 on the clock. The chant goes up. Beat the wall. He starts to run up. And here we go. And that is the defending champ, Ben Polson, up the walk wall. Takes a look at the clock. It's getting close to three minutes now. Three obstacles to go. Lots of time. Looks a little tired, not rushing, though. When you feel like you can complete it. Ben, interesting tactics here. The clock is ticking. But he must need this break. He really feels gassed at this point, taking a lot longer than I expected. Come on, Ben Polson, the clock is ticking. Yeah, this is the danger zone, Beck. You've got to judge the fatigue with the time you've got left. Ben Polson onto the salmon ladder, makes the first. Four ninjas failed on this tonight. Look at the concentration. You've got to get the timing just right on the salmon ladder. Now he has to make his way to the stair hopper and control here. Oh, so important. Time pressure aside, he cannot rush. Has to keep that bar even all the way down. So far, so good. One more step to go down now, Ben Polson. Now he starts to swing. The Ninja Warrior champion goes back a bit. Is he going for an early exit? Make sure of it, Ben. He does. With two obstacles to go, Ben Polson's looking like he's throwing caution to the wind. The reigning champ, breathing hard. All right, let's go, babe. Olivia Vivian on the sidelines is looking a tad nervous at this stage. Anything can go wrong at this point, which chews up time. 
and I'm really talking about the underwater escape. It can chew up a lot more time than you expect. Ben Polson's on the barrel roll, the second last obstacle. Big swing and a catch. Last barrel now. 1.20 on the clock. Got to get moving. Here we go. Ready. Oh, doesn't exit. It's 1.10 on the clock. This is going to come right down to the wire right now. He steps over. He's got to go. Ben Paulson, he's down for the first one. The first one weighs 32 kilograms. He's struggling, struggling with it. With oh, the, the clock is moving on him. Yes. 53 seconds left. He's into the second pool. Here he comes up. Grasping the door, taking that last suck in of oxygen there, lifts up the door. It's only 36 kilograms, but oh. it must feel like 136 at this point. 40 seconds to go, less than. They're a lot heavier than what he expected, and now he pulls this next one open. He knows it's a race to the buzzer. Here comes Ben Polson Come from on, Western ben. Australia. Oh, he was the winner of Ninja Warrior last year. Yes. Can he do it again? Yes. One thing's for sure, he's into stage two of the grand final. Yes. On season five of Australian Ninja Warrior, the competition that launched him into stardom 12 months ago. And now Ben Paulson gets ready to go back to back. The champ.